Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 27. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to do is the Historic Race Car Championship. And we are taking this Dodge Challenger RT race car from the 70s. Um, wish me luck. Uh, this one in GT5 was next to impossible. We've got four laps. We're going against like actual proper race cars. Um, so we've got four laps of Cote d'Azur. Then... Uh, four laps of Apricot Hill Raceway and then four laps of Silverstone. Silverstone's the one I'm looking forward to. The rest of it, not so much. Um, well, Apricot Hill maybe. That might be okay. But um, this historic uh, racing around Cote d'Azur is going to be a nightmare for me. Because I don't like narrow tracks like this. Um, just because I can't flow as easily. Um, but we're going against a lot of quite easy cars. Uh, we got a Cam two Camaro race cars. We got the GT40, which is the one I was worried about. But that is towards the back of the pack. So we shouldn't have too much of a problem in that book. Right, traction control on two. Let's go. Right, here we are. Let's do this. Dodge Challenger going against some Camaros, GT40s. And other absolute classics of this era. I see those Ferraris up in front. Proper Le Mans cars. Right, let's do this. Nice. This car is powerful. I have high hopes for it. Come on, come on, come on. Right, this is the tight section. This is where we're going to have to shift down into first. And down the straight. This is where we're going to get the most amount of speed. Have some real speed, bitch. Nice. We are in seventh, so we're going to have to slowly gain these positions. Nice. All right. I don't have high hopes for this series because obviously this is a Dodge Challenger going against Ferrari Le Mans cars. Perfect. Right, now it's coming up to the tricky section again. Trying not to crash. Perfect. I don't care if I'm cutting corners now. Sacrifices need to be made. Perfect. 
Perfect. Oh, that car hit the uh, inside of the barrier there. Interesting. And I hit the back of that car. Oh, no. Not great. I'm in six. This is why I hate this track. Because it's not possible to physically, like, do any moves on any cars. It's way too narrow. And my car wasn't designed to go around corners that tight. Then again, I don't think any of these cars were designed to go around corners. Perfect. Right, we can use this rest of this lap to try and regain as much position as possible. Come on, come on, nice. I think I'm finally getting the flow of the track as well. This is definitely one of those tracks you have to learn the flow every single time you come to it. Come on, come on. We're making distance. Come on, come on. Let's just get one person. Come on, come on! Ah. Right. Oh, it's not those fan cars, is it? Oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah, we're going to have no chance against those. Alright. I'll take fourth then. Oh. Jesus, that was stressful. We didn't even get, like, confetti. That is the worst race result we've had yet. And it's no surprise because it is the classic racing series. There's no way you can win this. It's such a difficult series. And it's only going to get harder. Right, where is our next race then? Obviously, Silverstone I have high hopes for. Uh, Apricot Hill Raceway. Let's go. Let's just do it. Historic Racing Car Cup, race number two. Apricot Hill Raceway. Let's have a look. That's not great. We got the three fan cars again. Here we go, Apricot Hill Raceway with the Challenger. Hopefully we can catch up with those cars at the front. Otherwise we may have to buy one ourselves and like, Look how fast they go. This is much more my cup of tea though, this kind of track. If 
But I'm guessing it's also the AI's cup of tea too. Come on, I can't let them get too far ahead. Well, whatever he did, he just helped me get around that corner quicker. So thanks for that. Come on, come on, come on, speed. Come on, come on. I am concentrating big time here. Watch it. Come on. No. Absolutely cocked that up. These aren't fan cars. They look like the fan cars from a distance. That front one is a fan car. Come on, come on. Pass that car. Just the fan car. I'm pretty sure it's got fans. Yeah, look at that. How the bloody hell am I supposed to keep up with that? I mean, it's the most disgusting looking car ever, but for some reason it's fast. Come on, come on. Yes, we made it past. Oh, they're trying to overtake me now. That's not good, that's not good.
There we go. Position defended. Awesome. Ah, I need that 2J. I need that car. Otherwise, I probably won't be able to beat, um... What is it? Cote d'Azur. David and Goliath. Mm, I wonder what that trophy is for. Does it say under... PlayStation? No? Trophy collection. Gran Turismo 6. Where is it? David and Goliath. I'm looking for it. Here we go. Win a race with a PP limit of 620 or more in a car with at least 100 PP fewer than the race limit. Oh! Wait, so we are well below that. Oh, that is awesome. That is actually really cool. So we are, we are actually miles off, which is probably why we're losing. That's awesome. If any of you guys do want to add me on PlayStation, uh, Mechanic CG is the username. Uh, or not Mechanic CG if you want my ult as well. Uh, right, next up is uh, Silverstone. Uh, oh, yeah, the PP is 750 and we're at 632, so we are miles behind. Uh, and this race gives us 30,000 credits if we come first. Let's do this. I really hope we can win this. Um, I mean, we won Apricot Hill. So hopefully, because there's like four main straights on this track, we should be able to get that... Uh, pretty well done. Um, but there are two 2Js here. And there's a Toyota 7. I wonder what that is. Um, but yeah, let's do this. This is about as classic as it gets. Going around Silverstone. One of the most classic British circuits. In some classic chargers, challengers. Cars that sound like this. Cars that sound like they're about to explode, not gonna lie. Come on, let me round the corner. Thank you. Oh, that was close. One thing I'm actually um, hoping that they bring into Grand Turismo 7 is the sort of like menus, the in-game menus. So you could have like your statistics on people's times, the best and the worst. Um, but you could also change like your fuel mix, but also um, it was possible to change your traction control mid-race and your brake balance. And I really like the idea of being able to do that, just because, well, certain parts you don't need maximum traction control, and yet it still kicks in. Right, I think my hopes for this race are slowly being uh, ground down. It's nothingness. Perfect. Oh my gosh, they're already coming up to the section up ahead. I don't like that. Come on, come on, speed. If we do it first time, we don't have to worry about redoing all the races again. Actually, no, it's not championship, so we don't have to do that. Perfect. 
Perfect. We are now 12 seconds behind. We were 10 seconds before. Yeah, I have a feeling we're not going to catch up at all. Without doing that. Ten seconds. We managed to gain two seconds by cutting that corner like that. Which has given me an idea. So on the next two laps, we're going to try that. No way. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> I just want my stars. And you can't really cut this corner here or this next one. I mean, I could probably really cut this section now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I want this. <laughs> I want these stars. I'm going to get them. GT Sport definitely wouldn't let you do that. Right. Now we've caught up with those cars, we can now use this lap to uh, actually overtake them. I have a feeling when we cut come up to the uh, S corner, we can actually use that and just cut across and get in front of all the other cars. We'll see how this actual proper driving goes for now. Oh my gosh, how do they get so far ahead? is that car yeah I have a feeling uh, corner cutting tactics are going to be needed well YOLO No way are they catching up. I've just cut half of the track. Wait, no. Right, somehow I've got to fend them off. I'm not sorry for this, by the way. I feel like it's fully justified in this circumstance. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> that is the I I'm actually kind of ashamed of that race. Like the entire race was just me cutting corners. Um, that will not happen again. I can assure you. <laughs> oh my god. How did I manage that? How did I get away with that? 30,000 credits, 270,000. Very nice. And three stars. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.